Oh, just scanning with the prime scan. I think I need to get that tooth replaced. Prime scan is awesome. It is so fast and so accurate. It's going to knock your socks off. Uh, there is no camera as fast as this and as accurate as this is. Uh, the tip that you see right here, it can come off and there's a couple other tips that can go on, which means it can be sterilized and also there's a disposable version. So it gives us more options with that. You'll also notice that it's a very balanced system. Now, it still has a cord right here, but this is now cordless. They took the right cord off and that's the power cord. There's a huge battery on this and so you don't even need to be plugged in anymore. And the advantage to that is, is that full power goes to the camera all the time. So you're not wasting battery life on something that's inside the camera. Uh, why would you ever want to go wireless when it comes to this, when you need that data to stream through here as fast as you possibly can? Now, to start off with the camera, what you'll notice is that there's a wider field of view. That means that the, the glass segment is much larger, but it also goes right up to the very edge. And what that means is, is that when you're putting it in the mouth, it can go in as far as you can possibly reach it. And, and that's important to get to the distal of second and third molars. Next thing is, is about right here, there's a heating element within the housing, and so it keeps the, the fog from happening on the glass. For current Cerec owners, you know that on the Omnicam and the Blue Cam camera, there was a heating element that was on the actual housing here, but now it's internal. Now, as the data comes through here, it's based off of blue wavelengths. Blue light is the smallest wavelength of visible light, and that's good for accuracy. It's the only light that is actually being seen for basically contrast down to the pixel level. So as that data comes through here, you're gonna hear this little rattle noise, and what that is is a dynamic lens. It moves about uh, 10 times per second is as you're moving it in the mouth, it's constantly refinding the focus for you. And so it's dynamic. That means better data is getting eventually through the, to the back of the camera. So as the data goes through the dynamic lens, it has to get into a much larger uh, pixel sensor. And so they've basically rebuilt this and it actually scans in a hundred million contrast points per second. And then it evaluates each contrast point, which equates to about a billion and a half contrast evaluations per second. So by the time it gets into the, the back part of the camera, there is a ton of data per second. So in order for that to not just bog everything down, there's a intelligent processing that actually happens in the camera. And what it does is it filters it out, it processes it, and it also compresses it. So by the time it comes through the cord, which is important, it goes into the computer, it's already the data that is needed to make the model. It happens while you watch. You don't have to wait for it to uh, build the model, build the model. It's unbelievably fast. And of course, it has a color component, so the models will be in color. Another really neat thing is that it has a motion sense, which you'll see here in a minute. All you have to do is kind of grab the camera. It senses that it's been moved, and the camera kicks on. All right, so the new uh, case for the CEREC system, this is really exciting. Like I mentioned before, it's cordless. Uh, it runs off of battery if you like. You can also plug it in if you like. But this is all touch screen now. And also the screen can be manipulated in many different angles. And what I have found is that it makes it nice when you're in the operatory right between the patient chair and probably your countertop. So it has a smaller footprint in general, and then the screen can be moved in different directions so that it just makes it wedge in there a little bit more. Now you know as well as I do that 
inside an operatory, real estate matters. And the last thing we need is something else to go on the countertop. This is still on the cart-based system, but what, what it does is it makes it even smaller, and there's less uh, to actually manipulate and use. So we have the, the touch screen, if we like. We also have a trackpad. Uh, they got rid of the trackball, and what that does is it allows you to wipe it down even better. Now the program that you're seeing here is CERC 5.0. It's a little bit different, not terribly different from 4.6, but it makes it more user friendly through the system with the prime scan. So there's no longer a blue screen, it's a little bit gray, but we're gonna go ahead and add a new patient here. What you'll see is the um, uh, keyboard pops up and I'm just gonna put in a random name here last name, first name, and then proceed to the next step. We have the auto detect. The biogeneric individual calculations are so much better now because they've, they've upped the algorithms for the biogeneric uh, processor, uh, the processing, because you know we have better data that's coming through here so it can actually give you better proposals. So we'll give it a, uh, let's say we're gonna do Emacs on two, number 30 here. Again, all touch screen. Again, the, the phases are still the same as prior CERT versions. And then we'll come into the acquisition phase. And what you're gonna see here is I'm gonna pick up the camera and it's gonna, it's gonna kick on. So you can see the blue light, that's the blue uh, smallest wavelength frequency. And there's a little bit of a rattle. Now I'm gonna hold this up to my microphone which is just out of the shot so you can hear it rattling. So that's that dynamic lens working. And what I want you to, now I realize this is a model, okay? I mean, you can see plenty of stuff online with people putting it in their mouth, scanning really fast. But quite frankly, I'm not so worried about how fast it scans. I'm more worried about how accurate it is. They just happen to combine both. So the very high frequency and the contrast analysis that it does gives us that better accuracy. That's what I'm more concerned about, but it is pretty fast. Okay, so we're gonna put it in. And what you'll see is that it has a, a strategy of about 60 degrees. So I did three passes, one over the occlusal, buccal, and lingual. And it got most of it, you can see here, I've got a little bit on the mesial, which that is a, a gold crown. So it's gonna take just seconds for that to fill in. And what's nice about that is that we've got a lot of data very quickly. And I'm doing a demonstration, I think I can do a little bit better than that. So I'll get just a little bit more data. You can see how, watch out on the distal right here where I've got a little void. Watch how fast this comes into play. a lot more user-friendly. Now, one of the things that happens when you're scanning in the mouth is cheek gets in the way, lip gets in the way. I mean, things are moving. And what's neat about the new uh, processing of the data, it actually kicks all of that stuff out. So I'm gonna pretend that my, my thumb is the, the lower lip. And I'm gonna get it in the shot here. All right, so I have my big finger in the way, the big lip. And now I'm gonna show it again. And what's gonna happen is, it's gonna recognize that that lip isn't there anymore. And it's gonna start erasing the lip. There it goes. There it went. So what that means is you're scanning through the mouth. If you catch a little bit of lip or the tongue, you'd have to stop and get everything perfect. You can just keep on scanning and it will eventually work it out. So you can see my finger has completely disappeared. So let me go ahead and finish the, the, uh, the arch. Again, Not a lot of angulation of the camera to do, to see things, because of all that data point actually starts to fill things in. All right, so I'm gonna do the upper. Now this model I've had for 
years and years and years, there's actually still powder on it. It's not necessary for this. It's just it's still there from, gosh, I've used this model since the uh, red camera days. There's the powder. Sorry, I didn't get that off. So as it's scanning, it's looking at the contrast of the pixels of data and determining what the depth of the, the depth of value is for them. Much different technology than any other scanner on the market. So you can see we've got an arch completed. There's a couple of spots I need to fill in here, but that shouldn't be too hard. Oh, it can do palette also. You know, what's so neat about this, just to think about where we're gonna be in, say, this time next year, just think of all the digital dentures and partial dentures that we're gonna be able to do now that we can get that kind of data with the palette. You know, physical impressions, they're just about dead. I mean, as, as great as this is. In fact, a lot of studies that are getting ready to be launched uh, about this camera will almost prove that, they're, that that impression material could be gone. All right, so then we're gonna hit the buckle bite. Done the exact same way that we did before, but again, the data is so much more. You can see how much faster it was able to articulate those models. So we have our model. Because it's touch screen, it's, it's very similar to your um, uh, smartphone. You know, you, you can pinch and zoom, make it larger or smaller. And now it has an automatic margin finder, which if you show it a very defined margin, it can, it can really find it. In fact, it actually learns your prep style and it will anticipate where you would have made the corrections. So again, the biogeneric calculation is gonna be a lot better because the data is so much better. So what you're seeing here is the proposal. And what I have found is that interproximal contacts of any CERC version has been the absolute best. It's rare that you're gonna to have to actually adjust the contact within the software. So going back to that five click process, this is one of those. We're not having to mess with the proposals nearly as much, and so the time saved is great. This is the next evolution in digital dentistry. Enjoy the scan.